Tina, and today we're gonna check out something I wasn't planning on checking out, which is why my makeup's already done. Let's talk about this thing from Sephora. It is kind of an odd shape, and it folds out, and it looks kind of like a butterfly or something. It's got like these three wings down here, three on this side, and then it opens up. Decent mirror, it's not great. So there are no drawers. I, I kind of wish there were drawers instead. There's blushes, a contour, highlights and cream shadows and then this is contour down here then we have different kinds of eyeshadow so this side is neutral shadows and then like lipsticks down here and this side is brighter eyeshadows so there's purples and then there's blues and yellows and then some more lipsticks in more red colors I gotta tell you, I got this for Christmas. My son bought it for me, he picked it out, and I've never bought anything Sephora brand before. Like I've shopped at Sephora, but buying their brand? Come on now. It was on sale and you know, he could afford it with his money, so this is what he got me. I stuck it in the corner and I kind of forgot about it. Then today, I wanted to recreate this look here from a game that I play, just because I've been goofing around with this idea for a while now, but it is a very popular one and one I enjoy. I thought, let's test this out, see if it can do anything at all, right? Because I wasn't expecting anything from this. It turns out this does a great job. It's annoying as hell to use though. The shadows, I didn't use any of the cream ones. These contours down here I used quite a bit. Um, I used quite a lot of the highlight. I used several blushes and bronzer. I used quite a few of the eyeshadows and the lipsticks. What I can tell you is this. If you find this again for the $20 that it was that day on Black Friday, and you don't have makeup and are like, I need makeup. Uh, maybe you're just starting out having makeup. Maybe you just decided to get into makeup. This little kit might be worth your money. I have found these shadows very easy to work with, far easier than I expected. The only thing in here that is terrible are the lipsticks, the lip glosses. Oh my gosh. So as you can see by this look, it's kind of an ombre look which you have to use a lipstick brush to apply this. I don't know how else you do it. I guess you can try it with your fingers. I don't suggest that. <laughs> so, you know, I got out my lipstick brush and I'm like painting it on and it just doesn't work. The color you're seeing left right now mostly is actually from a lip liner from Tarte that I have put underneath to get that sort of ombre effect and it, they, they just didn't work. They don't stay on, they get all over, they're messy, they're just awful. But the rest of it is surprisingly good. I was really shocked. I wouldn't be standing here now if I wasn't. <laughs> like I wouldn't even have bothered doing anything with this. I would have kept it, I would have done some looks with it. I would have played with my, you know, my son and me sometimes goof around with makeup a little bit. He does mine. Um, I do like funky things on him, Comic Con, here we come type stuff. I thought it would be fun for stuff like that because it does have a wide variety of things in here to use. The one thing that wasn't as intense as I expected after as good as everything else was, was this highlight. Um, it is awfully powdery, neither one of them give you much in the way of highlight. I know you can see it, but I actually put a cream highlight on under my foundation and everything, otherwise I don't think you would be seeing it shine as much as it is. But these contours, holy crap, those are amazing. So is this bronzer up here. Like, it's so soft and it feels and blends so nicely. Like, wow. I've had much more expensive contours and bronzers that I hated that felt nothing like that. These blushes are gorgeous. This really pink one here is really pretty. I'm wearing it with a little bit of a shimmery, this like shimmery dusty gold or dusty rosy one here. Both of them are beautiful. The eyeshadows are tiny. You're gonna want smaller brushes to use them, but they're very highly pigmented. This purple here is what I have under my eyes. I don't know if you can see it very well because under eye colors, they're hard to get to show up. Very pretty, did a great job. I really liked it. And most of the time, purples just don't show up for the damn. I like was really digging into those lipsticks to try to get something to happen there. It just wasn't happening. This black is super intense and it blends gorgeously. These shades over here, these neutrals, are beautiful. Everything, you know, except for those base items, my base, you know, the foundation and that, 
all came out of this kit. I didn't use anything but this today and I was so impressed. I was like, holy crap. I will actually reach for that again. Um, I don't know how much use you're gonna get out of it if like you were using this every single day. I think you'd go through these pans really quickly because they're tiny. But to get an idea for a product um, from Sephora and how Sephora eyeshadows and stuff work, I think that this was great because it's really inexpensive. It is really chunky and it is terrible, nasty toy plastic, which is why I didn't expect anything from it, quite honestly. I figured I'd play with it a few times, I'd forget about it, it'd go away, that'd be the end of it. And instead I'm kinda like, damn, I wish that was in better packaging. I mean, this look turned out really pretty and it wasn't all that complicated. Everything blended easily. It went on pigmentedly. I didn't have any problems with my brushes causing you know, them just not working right. I didn't have problems with anything. It was great. If you're at Sephora and want to try out something from Sephora, I know they still have these. I'm pretty sure they still have these on Markdown. Give it a shot, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? You have nothing to lose. Um, surprisingly good for as cheap as it was. And as much as you get in there, I had so much fun creating this because I love Covet. Like Covet is the one game. I've been playing it since Covet came out in 2013. And yeah, I'm an addict. I love that game so much. If you, have you tried Sephora? What did you think? Because I hear very hit and miss things. And most of the stuff I see from Sephora, like their eyeshadows are crazy expensive. I understand it's Sephora. I still think of it as a store brand or a generic. I don't expect a palette from them to be like 75, 80 bucks. That's crazy money for that. This gives you an opportunity to use their brand and not pay crazy amounts of money for it. If you use Sephora, let me know what you thought of them. I've heard very hit and miss things. Like some palettes are amazing and other palettes are like crap. Let me know what you thought. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye! And while I have you here on this very short video, I might introduce you to somebody. This is Flower. Flower has an unclosed fontanel. She is a rescue. And she is amazing. She's super sweet. She is full grown. She's almost two. Um, even though she's tiny, she weighs about seven pounds. She loves to chew on some of my makeup brushes. Is, it, is that my brush? Yeah. I don't know why she likes to chew on them exactly. And it's not all of them. It's mainly ones with like these bamboo handles on them and stuff. She loves those. What I wanted to say about her and just in general is even if you have, if you see dogs with disabilities, give them a shot. She doesn't take that much extra care. We just have to make sure that she doesn't get her head hit uh, or injured in some way. Other than that, she's an absolute sweetheart. One of the sweetest little dogs you'll ever meet. If you're looking out for a new furry friend, hit the shelters up and um, dogs with disabilities, whether or not they impact their lives, tend to be harder to adopt out because of concerns for medical costs. And that is a concern. There is no joke there. So you definitely want to check into that to see what the life expectancy is and things like that. They're totally worth it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you're a little princess. I hope you enjoyed seeing her and please, please adopt, 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 rescue, rescue, rescue. And I'll put some links to some rescues below because I do really hope that you will think about doing that because these little animals need our love and affection and definitely need a great home. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.